Hello friends, this video on P-Block Elements Part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's discuss the trends in the carbon family now, group 14. We'll discuss electronic configuration, we'll discuss density, we'll discuss melting and boiling point, we'll also discuss atomic and ionic radii, we'll discuss ionization enthalpy, we'll talk about electronegativity, we'll talk about the metallic character trends, we'll talk about the oxidizing and reducing agent trend, we'll talk about the oxidation states, We'll talk about the nature of compounds and we'll also talk about the chemical properties. Similar to what we have done for group 13 elements, similar stuff we'll do for group 14 elements now. If you see the electronic configuration of group 14 elements, it is NS2 NP2 form. So if you see this is carbon, this is NS2 NP2 form, silicon NS2 NP2 form, germanium NS2 NP2 form, tin NS2 NP2 form, lead is NS2 NP2 form. Here NS6. N is 5, N is 4, N is 3, N is 2. This is a general electronic configuration. Let's talk about density. Density is what? Density is mass by volume. Correct. So since going down, the mass increased a lot. So generally the density will increase as we go down the Correct. This is the general trend. Silicon has some deviation here, but if you see, apart from that, it's generally increasing. Let's talk about the melting and boiling point. As I told, the melting and boiling point depends on the what? Structure a lot. And also on the bond strength. So structure is something which we can't tell just by looking at the compound that needs a real uh, investigation to find the structure. The chemists spend a lot of time to find the structure. They use all these uh, techniques where uh, they use the diffraction techniques and all those techniques uh, to find the structure. But bonds are something which you can guess just by the size. As I told that, uh, more the size, less in the bond strength. Right? This is something which we have discussed. Right? So I have two big uh, atoms, the bond strength is less. Two small atoms, the bonds are this more. Correct. So going down the group, size is increasing. If size is increasing, this implies what? The bond strength will decrease. Correct? Because size is inversely to bond strength. If bond strength is decreased, this implies that melting point and boiling point will decrease. And that's what you see, right? There is a decrease in melting point and boiling point. Little bit increase, but generally trend is to decrease the, uh, we will not about talk about this uh, exception now because it is complex and for this class just understand the trend, the general trend is that the melting point and boiling point will, decrease. because I told, told right, auto depends on the structure, so may, maybe it has different structure, so that it has it increased, but general trend is that the bond strength will uh, decrease, so the melting and boiling point will Let's talk about the atomic and ionic radius. You see the atomic and ionic radius, the moment you go down, the number of shells increase, right? And thus the atomic size increase. The charge of the nucleus increase, but due to sailing effect, uh, the effective nuclear charge is not that much. I mean, the increase in effective nuclear charge is not that much as you see the, the uh, as you compare with the number of shells. So going down, generally the atomic size increase. So you see, right? The atomic size generally increases as you go down. When you talk about the ionization enthalpy, that is also what is ionization enthalpy? Is nothing but the energy required to pluck one electron. Correct. So as I told, the moment the example carbon is little uh, difficult to pluck electron, but this guy it is easy to pluck electron, right? Because size is more, and for this. Uh, lead, it is very easy to pluck electron. Very easy to pluck electron. So, see if you see in this case now, since uh, for carbon it is difficult to pluck electron if you if I am comparing this group, so carbon has more ionization enthalpy, it needs more energy. So, ionization enthalpy is more. Germanium is little easy, so it is less ionization enthalpy. Lead all the more easy, so lead will have all the more less ionization enthalpy. So, if you see the general trend is if you go down the group, the ionization enthalpy is decreasing because the energy required to pluck electron is decreasing. Let's talk about the electronegativity. What is electronegativity? It is nothing but 
टेंडेंसी टू फुल इलेक्ट्रॉन पे राइट दैट इज ऑल्सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द साइज सो कार्बन कार्बन इफ यू सी विल बी एबल टू फुल मोर बिकॉज इट इज स्मॉल इन साइज सो इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज हेयर इन मोर टू टॉक अबाउट लेड दिस विल बी एबल टू फुल लेस वाई बिकॉज द इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज हेयर इज लेस वाई बिकॉज इवन द लेड हैज गोट मोर न्यूक्लियर चार्ज बट द इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ सील्डिंग इफेक्ट दिस लेस सो इट इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज एट यू कैन से द सर्फेस of atom right so here if you see the effective nuclear charge is less because the more the size is less so it, it is able to pull more it is able to pull less so this guy has more electronegativity carbon has more electronegativity if you see the lead it will have less electronegativity so general trend is typically it goes down let it increase there has to be some reason we will not discuss this reason in this class now maybe in the higher class but the general trend is that it decreases as we go down the Because of the increase in size and the increase decrease in the effective nuclear charge at the surface, correct? Because the new electrons will be which has to be pulled has to be somewhere here, right? Somewhere, somewhere here. So here the more charge is there, so it will be get affected more. Here the charge is less, so it will be get it will be impacted less. So if we talk about the metallic character for the group fourteen, if you see here, right? So this guy. so carbon is non metal right and then we have metalloids and then we have metals so if you see going down the group my metallic character is increasing correct and why it is increasing because going down the group the tendency metal is what metal is something which has tendency to lose electron right from the outermost cell so the valence electron it is able to lose it is metal So if we go in on the group, if you see these electrons, this carbon, since this electron is tightly held, won't lose electron. It will take electron. These are in dicey state. They sometimes lose, sometimes gain. But these guys, since the atom size is more, these guys can lose electron, right? So if you see these guys behave as metal, metal. These guys metalloid, some side metal, some side not metal. And carbon behave as a non-metal because. the size is less and the effective nuclear charge here is more so it believes in taking electron rather than giving electron here the electrons are not in that much control with this nuclei so it can lose electron we talk about the oxidation states now so since it is group 14 so 14 minus 10 is 4 as i told right group number minus 10 is a max number oxidation state it can have so it has max plus four oxidation states all these guys will have plus four oxidation state by default but also as i told due to inert pair effect right so this guy will also give plus two that is plus four minus two that is plus two also it will give right this also give plus two this one give me right this guy gives plus two plus two and plus two also and going now in the group the plus two is more stable for example in this case my lead lead is more happy with plus two Then plus four. Why? Because the inert pair effect increases as we go down. As we go down, right? The effective nuclear uh, effective charge on the nucleus is more, and it can attract. It can pull the s electrons more. So the s orbitals don't take part in the reaction. So that's why if we go down, the plus two is more stable, right? So uh, Pb plus two is more stable than Pb plus four. This inert pair is more prominent as we go down the group. This we have discussed in the earlier uh, uh, what do you call the nitrogen? Sorry, the boron family trends also, right? Same thing here also. We go down the group. The inert pair effect increases. Since the inert pair effect increases, the plus two is more stable here as compared to plus four for lead. And this is the trend. Lead plus two is more stable. Then we have tin, little less stable, and germanium plus two is little less stable. Let's talk about the reducing properties now. So as I told that uh, it has plus four and plus two oxidation state both correct exist. So that's why it exists act both as oxidizing and reducing agent also. Why? See the one in the plus four, 
will act as a reducing agent because it will try to get oxidized to plus four. The one in the plus four, sorry, the one in the plus four will try to act as a oxidizing agent because it will try to become to plus two. The one in the plus two will try to act as a reducing agent because it will try to oxidize itself to plus four. Correct? As I explained this concept, reducing agent is one which get oxidized himself or itself, right? So it is in plus two. It will become plus four, so it is reducing property. What about oxidizing property? If it is in plus four, it will become plus two. So it, it reduces itself and it will oxidize something else. Correct. So if you see your example, germanium and tin, we compare. So germanium, if you see, as I told, it will have plus four is more stable here. Plus four is more stable. Correct. So if I have something in GE plus two, this will act as a reducing agent because GE plus two is unstable and it will try to form GE plus four. Correct. This is stable. So since it will form GE plus four, it will oxidize itself. So it will act as a good reducing agent. But since GE is very costly, is rare. So instead of that, tin is used. For tin also, plus four is more stable than plus two. So if I have tin in plus two state, it will try to form tin in plus four state. Correct? This is unstable. Hope you are understanding. Correct? Since plus four is more stable, so in tin, tin in plus two states are good reducing agent because they oxidize themselves to become tin plus four. Example I can give you is you have FeC three, you add SnCl two. Right, so SnCl2 this becomes FeCl, so the FeCl3 and SnCl2 gives FeCl2 plus SnCl4. This is the reaction. Correct. So if you see this guy, iron was at plus three, this became plus two. So iron got reduced. Tin was at plus two, it became plus four because plus four is more stable. So tin got oxidized and Iron got reduced, so tin is acting as a reducing agent. Let's talk about a unique property which is there in the carbon family. It's a very unique actually. Its property is called catenation, and this is nothing but catenation is nothing but the property to form big chain by forming a bond with the same element or with other elements. Form big chain. For example, this one, right? It's form a big chain. These all are nothing but carbon. They're all carbon. It all depends on the atom and the bonds. And this property of Catenation decrease as we go down. So if you see, carbon has more exhaustive property of catenation. There are more carbon uh, long chains compound. Silicon has that less. If you go down the group, it almost decreases. So catenation property is a very good property, critical property for carbon family, and that's the reason why we have the whole organic chemistry. And this property decreases as we go down the group in carbon family. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.